Okay, in this video, we're going to work a bunch of problems related to the equation of a circle. It's going to be an array of different problems, different types of problems. So you can practice working with the equations of circles from all kinds of different angles. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to solve any problem that's given to you about the equation of a circle, and you'll have a really good understanding of the meaning behind it and how it works. So let's get into it. Okay, is the point 2, 7 on the circle defined by this equation? Okay, so if this point is on the circle, then then this point satisfies the equation. So we can just plug the, the, the point into the equation and see if it's if it if the equality holds. If it does, then it's on the circle. So so x is equal to two. Y is equal to seven because that's the point two seven. Two in the x, seven in the y. Right? You have an x y coordinate system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's say. Okay, it, the, the question is asking, let's do that. The question is asking, is the point, this is, this is the XY coordinate system. Is the point two, so we'll go one, two, we, we, you know how to plot points. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's asking, is this point on the circle? If this represents the, a, a circle somewhere in the XY plane, then if we plug a point in and it satisfies the equation, that means that point is on the circle. So, so X is equal to two, Y is equal to seven. So, okay, so X is equal to two. So we've got two minus two. Y is equal to seven. So it's zero squared plus zero squared. So zero, this is not true. Zero is, zero is not equal to four. So no, this point is not on that circle. Okay, same question. Is this point in the XY plane on this circle? Just plug the point into the equation. So X is equal to minus four. Y is equal to seven. So minus four plus one squared plus seven minus three squared. Okay, so minus, minus four plus one is minus three. Seven minus three is four. Minus three squared is nine. Four squared is 16. Nine plus 16 is 25. 25 is equal to 25. So yes, this point is on this circle. If you drew this circle in the XY plane, it would go through the point minus four, seven. Okay, determine the center and radius of the circle. Okay, so this is the equation of a circle in, in standard form. And to be even more technical about it, you could even write this equation this way. So X, minus four squared plus, and then do Y minus, minus two squared, and then write 81 as nine squared. And, and the reason why this is more, I guess, and the reason why this is more technical, I guess you could say, is you're being more specific. So like the, the, the standard form of a circle is X minus H squared plus Y minus, like this is the standard form of a circle. So X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. Right? So you're, you're, you're just being more explicit about what is the K here? Because, because like the standard form is X minus H, Y minus K. This isn't a minus, so you're putting a minus here. And the standard form, if you want to determine the center and the radius, the center and the radius is H comma K, but the radius is R. That's the center. R is the radius. 
right? But the standard form has this minus sign here. So, so the center in this case is the center is four comma minus two, M the minus two, right? This y minus minus two is y plus two, but the standard the, the standard form has this minus here, so the the k coordinate is minus two, and then the radius is the square root of this number, so it's this it's r squared, so the radius is r, or the radius is nine. Okay, same same as before. Um, it's a little more complicated because we've got these fractions, but like if you put this in standard form, it's x minus minus some number squared plus y minus 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 some number. But we don't want to change this. This is this is a plus here, so we're going to say. minus some number squared that's standard form you see because we because that this is the this is equivalent y plus three-fourths is equivalent to y minus minus three-fourths but this is that standard form is equal to okay what is the square root of 81 over 49 well we know to do this to evaluate this, we can, we can distribute the square root to the numerator and the denominator, the radical symbol, and we get 9 over 7. So this is 9 over 7 squared. And so there you go. Now we can just pull, pull the center, pull the center right out of the equation just read it it's, it's in standard form just read it straight from the standard form the center is three halves minus three fourths and the radius is nine sevenths okay so here it's it's giving us the center and giving us the radius and it's saying Write the any with the center and radius of the circle. Write the write the equation of the cir circle in standard form. Okay, so standard form again is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay, so we we know that so based on this we know that the center is at h comma k based on this equation okay and we know but we all but we know the center in this case so let's just write it minus two five okay so w what we need to do is just take like just substitute like we know h is minus two and k is five we can see that clearly h is minus two and k is five and then r is 1. So we just need to substitute h and k and r into this into this equation. The only, the, the tricky part is just the, it was when you have minus signs, getting the minus signs correct. So okay, like just write out exactly what what's your the, the equation you're trying to substitute into. And then make sure you you substitute in your negatives appropriately so okay we've got x minus right that's exactly what it says here now we're going to substitute in the h x minus the h is minus two okay good squared all right plus y minus okay now just put the k I mean, you could put parentheses plus five, but there's no need. Okay, is equal to r squared. So one r is equal to one squared. 
Okay, so just now, just now, just simplify it. I mean, I guess this is technically right, but I don't think you would leave an equation like you you, you would distribute this minus. So you would say x plus two squared plus y minus five squared is equal to one. That and that's the standard form. Okay, equation of a circle. Okay, same problem, but now they give us the center is 0, 0, and the radius is 2.6. So, okay, what is this? We, we want to write this in standard form. The equation of the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Our center, we know, is at h comma k. But this is just zero, so just, just remove the h and k. So it's just x squared plus y squared is equal to, and then the radius, this is the radius. And just so substitute that right in. So we've got, simplifying this, x squared plus y squared is equal to, and then, 2.6 squared is 6.76. All right, that's that's the equation in standard form. Okay, right, the equation of the circle, we're still doing standard form. And just a reminder, there's two forms for a circle. There's the standard form, which is what we've been working with, and the general form. And all the general form is is like what you would do is so like here's a standard form you just distribute all of this you multiply all this out and, and you'll have like an x squared term a y squared term a y term an x term and, and some constants and you just put everything on the left and leave the right equal to zero so real quick let me show you real quick so x plus two x plus two y minus 5, y minus 5 is equal to 1. So, so multiply all this out. So x squared plus 2x plus 2x, and then 2 times 2 is 4, okay? And then y squared minus 5y minus 5y, and minus 5 times minus 5 is, is equal to 1. Okay, so just let's remove that parentheses. Okay, and then now just bring the one over and then co and combine this. So 25 plus 4 is 29, and then subtract 1, so 28. So x squared plus y squared plus... 4x plus 10y plus 28 is equal to zero. That's the, that's the general form. And we're going to do some problems, some problems soon on when you have a, when you're given a general form like this, putting it into the standard form, putting it into this form. But that's the general form. When you see that, when, 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 you, when something's called the general form for, could be a parabola, a hyperbola, whatever. It's just pretty much just everything jumbled all, all to, like everything distributed, broken out into its component parts, broken out into pieces and just jumbled together. Like this is the most, this is as general as you can get for an equation, completely general. It's not, it's not organized and, and factored in any way like this. And, 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 you know, organized and factored in a way where you can read off like, Ooh, the center, this is the center. This is the vertex, you know, because it's organized a certain way. It's just completely general. Okay, so we want to, so it's still, it's asking a standard form, so we want to put it in that HKR form. This is a little different. This is saying it's giving us the center, okay? So as far as standard form goes, I'm going to write standard form again. So X minus H squared plus y minus k squared is equal to 
R squared. As far as standard form goes, we have the center. We have our H and our K. H is minus 2. K is minus 1. But we need the R. In order to complete the standard form, we still need the R. And they don't give us the R this time. They just give us another point. They give us the center and another point on the circle. So how can we get the R? Well, what do we know? Like, how is the, how is the center of a circle related to another point on the circle, to any point on the circle? The distance between the center and a point in the circle is equal to R. So we can use, what, what, what can we use to get the distance between two points. We have the distance formula. We know how to, we know how to, in previous videos, we, we, we did a, in, in a previous video, we did a, a bunch of examples on finding the distance between two points. If we can find the distance between these two points, that's equal to R. Then we'll have R, then we can write it, we can write the equation of the circle. So, okay, so the distance formula. Go back and watch that video if you need, but you just, Label one point as the, the second point, one point as the first point, it doesn't matter. So let's say this is the first point. So this is, we'll say this is x1 and this is y1. And we'll, then we'll say this is x2 and y2. So the distance between these two points, d, which based on the analysis we just, we just did, we know that that is equal to r. It's the square root of y2 minus y1, okay? And you just have to be careful with your minus signs. That, that's, that's, that's the tricky part here. That's, that's what gets a lot of people. The, 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 the having a, for, having a, having a, a formula and applying the minus signs properly. So the, the formula is y2 minus y1. That's what the formula says. So y2 5 minus, now what is y1? It's minus 1 squared. Well, and, and then I need another parentheses, okay? No, wait a minute, sorry. It's y2, let's, let me change the bracket here to make this, okay. So y2 minus y1, y2 is five, minus y1 is minus one, squared, okay? All of that squared, plus, okay, x2, six, minus, and then x1, which is minus two, squared. And the square root of all of that. So now let's just simplify. So we've got the square root of, so 5 minus minus 1 is 5 plus 1. Okay? 5 plus 1 is 6. So 6 squared plus 6 minus minus 2. That's 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. So 8 squared. And then the square root of all of that. Okay, we've got the square root of 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, 36 plus 64 is 100. So we've got the square root of 100. And let's just simplify this as much as we can so we know from, from, from simplifying radicals, how do you simplify radicals? Okay, what is 100? Separate that, that out into its factors. So 100 is 25 times 4. Well, wait, what am I talking about? 100, square root of 100 is 10. Right, what am I, okay, I'm going crazy here. 10 times 10 is 100. So this is 10. The radius is equal to 10. This is the radius. So now we've got H, we've got K, and we've got R. All right, just substitute it in. And again, just be careful with the minus signs. That's, that's, that's a big, uh, the, that's, that trips a lot of people up. You can get that figured out, then you've, you've come a long way in algebra. If you can really understand how to substitute minus signs 
into formulas, you know, and just and also read off of formulas values and not confusing the minus signs. So, okay, so let's just we're gonna plug H and K right in. We're doing the left side first. X minus H. What is H? H is minus two squared. The whole thing squared plus y minus k. What is k? Minus one. All of that squared is equal to r squared. So we just put r in. Ten squared. Okay. Okay. So. I've seen examples where they say, well, this is the completed standard form because now I can easily read off the H and K and then there's the R, but that's not standard form. But you, 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 you have to clean it up. The, 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 the final form is cleaned up. It's, it's simplified and it's as clean and presentable as you can make it. This is not presentable to me. You want to get rid of all these parentheses and, and all this junk. So X minus minus two, that's X plus 2 squared plus y minus minus 1. That's y plus 1 squared. Again, clean this up. 10 squared is 100. That, that's the final answer. That's your standard form. Okay, write an equation of the circle. Okay, again, in standard form, write the equation in standard form, and it gives us, it, it tells us what? The circle is tangent to both axes, so the, the x and y axes, with radius 7 and center in quadrant 1. Okay, so this is, okay, the problems are getting a little bit tougher. It doesn't give us the center, right? So again, let me just write that we were doing standard forms. Let me write standard, the standard form. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared okay and you can see this is getting more difficult because it doesn't give us the center the center is nice because you 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 plug it straight into the standard to the standard form if you have the center then you know you already know two of the three values you need well here it it, it tells us that it does give us the radius so it tells us that r is equal to square root of seven so when we square that, it'll give us, we'll just have a 7 here in our final equation. So it, it does give us R, but we need to find H and K, the center of the circle, based on the, uh, the information it gives. It says the circle is tangent to both axes and the center is in quadrant 1. So, okay. So it's tangent to both axes Let me redraw that so it's they're saying it's like this but the center is in is in quadrant one so it could be tangent to both axes and the center being quadrant two or quadrant three or quadrant four but it's saying the center is in quadrant one all right and the radius is square root of 7. Okay, so, so the this distance is square root of 7, the distance to any one of these points. All right, so how can we solve this? Well, we know that this center, this, its coordinates are h, k. We know they're positive, so let's just keep that in mind. We know that they're positive, so this is x, y. And then what else do we know? We know that there are points on the circle that, well, there's a point on the circle that touches the y-axis, that's tangent to the y-axis just at one point, and it's tangent to the x-axis just at one point. So, so obviously that's going to that, that has that's going to be able to that information is going to help us solve this problem. So, okay. And 
we know that this is so we know that this is true just like it's drawn here and we also know that this distance is square root of seven and this distance is square root of seven so yeah so look so there you go so like okay this is h right the x coordinate of the center and then this is k and we have it it's square root of seven h and k are both square root of seven so the center is at square root of seven square root of seven that's this that's h and k you see so we got the r we got the h and the k let's just plug um plug just plug this into our formula there's no minus signs to deal with which is nice so x minus h what is h h is the square root of seven squared plus y minus k what is k square root of seven squared is equal to r squared so square root of seven squared is just seven there you go that's 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 the answer okay write the equation of the circle in standard form again if the equation represents a circle identify the center and radius if the equation represents a degenerate case give the solution set so okay we'll, we'll see what this means like this degenerate case and it, what this question is basically saying okay in gen, in general one you know we've just been solving a bunch of different problems on, on 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 related to the equation of a circle one another type of problem is you're given a standard form like this oh, no, i'm sorry a general you're given the general form like this this is a general form okay and we talked about the general form um you know a few minutes ago but the general form is just it's written like some looking in, in the algebra textbook right now the general form the most general form for the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c is equal to zero so if, if you're given an equation with all of the all the terms on the left and zero on the right i mean or it may, maybe it doesn't have zero on the right but you can easily just put it in this form no, there, there can't be a, there's no coefficients in front of the X and the Y. That would be a different kind of equation. If you had a co, these two coefficients are one. Well, there is a coefficient, but it's just one. So that's, that's part of the standard form for a circle. But on the X, you can have, you can have a coefficient. It can be positive or negative, right? Here, A is six, B is minus two. And you could have, and then that you can have a constant. Okay, you're given, you're given this general form and asked to put it into the standard form. Usually it works. Whenever, whenever, if, if you have this general form, so again, no, only a one in front of the X and the Y, the coefficient of, in front of the X, X squared and Y squared, I'm sorry, is one. If you, if you can put it into this form, then usually you can put it into the standard form and see that, and see the equation for the circle. But there's times when you'll get a degenerate case. In which case you don't have a circle, and, and you'll and we'll do an example where you see where you see what that is. All that happens is you end up getting you, you get that uh, on the left you get the x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, but then you get it equal to zero on the right. That's that's what a degenerate case is. Usually you'll you'll get that standard form on the left, and then some value on the right. That's r squared. But sometimes you'll you might you might get a zero on the right, and that's and the thing is that's not a circle. That's that's just a point. The solution set when it says the, the give the solution set for the the, the the degenerate case. So the solution set for if you have a circle is is the is the whole circle. But if you have r is equal to zero, it's a circle. Then your your solution set is a is I guess a circle. It's not really a circle. It's just well yeah. It's a circle with r is equal to zero. Is that a circle? No. That's just a, that's just a point. That's that the the the, the solution is the center of the circle. In these other cases, so like here, 
the, the center of the circle is not part of the solution set. That's a little tricky. You think, how is this, the center of the circle is not part of the solution? How is the center of the circle not part of the solution set? It's not. You don't draw a circle. When you, when you draw a circle, that's a circle. You don't do this. I mean, you, you do put the center. Sometimes you put the center. But technically, like by the definition of a circle is all points equidistant from a center. But it's, the center isn't included. What do you, so you might say, well, how is the center not included? Well, yeah, put in, put in for X and Y, put in the center, okay? The center is square root of 7, square root of 7. Put that in. You get 0 squared plus 0 squared. 0 is equal to 7. It does not. That's not, that's not part of the solution. But for the degenerate case, if you've got, if your R is equal to 0, then the center is the only solution. The only way you can get 0 is equal to 0 is putting in that H and K. But it's, still, it's not even a circle, though. It's saying the word center doesn't make any sense because it's center of what? You see? It's a circle with radius zero. It's not even a circle, though. It's just a point. So that's the, so I hope, I hope that makes sense. But so again, though, but, in, but most of the time, we're going to do an, an example of a, of a degenerate case, but most of the time you might be just given, given a general form like this, or you might be given like, like, you might be given, so, you know, maybe y squared minus 2y plus 6 is equal to minus x squared minus 6x. Okay, well, you don't know what this is, and you, and you simplify it, and you, and you put everything on one side and see, oh, look, that's the standard form for the, or the general form for the equation of a circle. Or maybe, maybe you it's even it's even more like there's stuff in parentheses there's there's all kind of stuff going on and when you first look at the equation it looks nothing like even the general or standard form of a circle but once you once you expand everything out and you and you and you move everything around and all of a sudden you get to this you get to, you can get to this general form and you say hey i know that's the general form for the equation of a circle so what do you do then how do we we want to we want to we want to take this and put this in standard form so we can read off what the h and the k is and read off what the r is so how do we do that okay so what we do is we use completing the square so okay first you want to bring the uh, the the x and the y terms together so x squared plus 6x plus y squared minus 2y and then you can also bring you can go ahead and bring the the constant term over to the right okay now what we want to do is write out this the x terms then leave a space write out the y terms leave a space is equal to minus six and so what we're going to do is we're trying to create this right we're trying to this x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared is equal to r squared we're trying to create this so we want to turn we want to turn this into like an x minus something squared. Turn this into a y minus something squared. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we know that what is, let's just write like in general, what is x minus a squared? Okay, or x plus a squared, sorry. x plus a squared. And we're not going to put minus here and, and because we're just, We'll worry about the minus at the end. We just want to create some x plus something squared. So just x plus a squared is what? x squared plus ax plus ax, so plus 2ax plus a squared. Okay, so we want to, we want to if, if we have something in this form, then we can turn it into this, which is what we're trying to do. So let's put, Let's create three terms that we know we can turn into this and do the same thing here. Okay, so we've got the x squared. That matches up. 
we've got the, and then we have something times X, 2A times X. So what is, like, so we, we want to find out what our A is, so then we can just put the, this A squared at the end. So 2A is equal to 6 here, you see? 2A is equal to 6. So A is equal to 3. A squared is equal to 9, so we could just put a 9 here. And that means now we know that we can, now we can take this and put it into this form. But we just changed the equation, right? We just added a 9 here. So we also want to add a 9 to this side. And you can think about it like this. Like you, you can almost do it like plus 9 minus 9. All right, and then now add 9 to both sides. Okay, so what is x squared plus 6x plus 9? We know it's going to be x plus 3 squared. We know that. If we distributed this, we'd get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay? Let's do this. y squared minus 2y. So, okay, so this what we, we have is the 2a in this case is equal to minus 2. So the a is equal to minus 1. a squared is equal to 1. So let's put a 1 there and put a 1 on the other side. So we know that this is equal to y. Now a is minus 1. So this is y minus 1 squared. Okay. And you can see why the standard form or the, the general form, you can't have a coefficient or you can't have a, a you, you have to have a coefficient of one from the x squared and the y squared. Otherwise, we'd have this would be like a two x or something like that. And that's not the that's 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 a different kind of that's a that's a different shape than a, a, a circle. OK, so minus six plus nine plus one minus six plus ten minus six plus ten is four. So what is the center and the radius? The center is, okay, minus 3, 1. And then what is the radius? It's not 4. It's the square root of 4. The radius is 2. Okay, same problem. We have this general form here. So let's, so we combine the, x terms there's only an x squared which is oh it's not that's not a problem because that means like we'll have x minus h the h is going to be zero okay now put y squared minus 20y and then bring the four over to the other the constant over to the other side okay so x squared we don't have to leave a space because that's that's already done that's x minus 0 squared. So x, y squared minus 20y, leave a space, is equal to 4. Okay, so once again, we know that x plus a squared is equal to x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. So for this, this y squared minus 20y, in this case, this 2a is equal to minus 20. So that means that the a is equal to minus 10. Minus 10 squared is 100. So add this 100. And so we also add 100 to this side. So that means we know that we have this is x squared and we can write this as y minus 10 squared. And so that would be y squared minus 10y minus 10y that's 20y and then plus 100. And then now 100 plus 4 is 104. Okay, equation of a circle, the, the standard form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, so again, th this is, you could look at this as x minus 0 squared, right? So the, the center is 0, comma, and then just 10, k. 
is 10, not minus 10, it's just 10. Okay, and then the radius is equal to the square root of 104. Okay, and the square root of 104, can we simplify that? So, okay, 52 divided by 2. Okay, so this is 26 times 4. Um, and so that's 13 times 2 times 2. So we can say that this is 2 square root of 26. That's the radius. Okay, same problem, type of problem again. So we've got, let's bring the x terms together and then leave a space and let's bring the y terms together, leave a space and then put the constant on the right. Okay. So this x plus a squared is x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Okay, so in this, in for this, for the, this x case, you've got 2a is equal to 1, so a, oh, no, 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 that's not right. 2a is equal to minus 1. Right, so a is equal to minus one half. What is a squared then? A squared is one fourth. So we also need to add one fourth here. All right, for the y case, you've got two a is equal to minus three halves. So the a is equal to minus three-fourths, okay? A squared is nine over 16. So we wanna add nine over 16, okay. So now we know that we have what? We have X minus one half squared plus y minus three fourths squared is equal to so what is this so three fourths plus one fourth that's one so one plus nine sixteenths is what sixteen over sixteen plus nine sixteenths which is 25 over 16 so this is 25 over 16. all right so just like we were doing in the previous problems the center is hk so the center is at one half three-fourths and the radius is the square root of this. So the square root of 25 over 16 is 5 fourths.